The role of insurance in mitigating natural disaster and climate risks. The experience of CRIF SPC. mission being to assist member governments and their communities in understanding and reducing the socio-economic and environmental impacts of natural disasters, we have, in addition to providing catastrophe risk insurance, developed and been implementing a technical assistance program since 2009. The main aim of the TA program is to assist Caribbean countries to deepen their understanding of natural hazards and catastrophe risk and the potential impacts of climate change on the region. The program has three components. Component 1, the Scholarship and Professional Development Program. Component 2, Regional Knowledge Building. Component 3, Support for Regional Disaster Risk Reduction Component 1 Scholarship and Professional Development Program The CRIF Scholarship and Professional Development Program focuses primarily on support for university scholarships as well as professional development opportunities for university graduates. CRIF also provides support for ongoing professional development of persons in key regional organizations through their attendance at conferences and workshops. CRIF has two scholarship programs, the CRIF UWI Scholarship Program with the University of the West Indies and what is called the CRIF Scholarship Program that supports students' study at other universities. Through the CRIF UWI Scholarship Program launched in 2010, CRIF provides scholarships to postgraduate and undergraduate students who are pursuing study at the university in areas related to disaster management at all three of its residential campuses, Mona, Jamaica, Cave Hill, Barbados, and St. Augustine, Trinidad and Tobago. Eligible programs of study include Geography, Geology, Civil with Environmental Engineering, Earth Sciences, Meteorology, Insurance and Risk Management, natural resource management, and building and construction management. The value of each postgraduate scholarship is $11,000 and each undergraduate scholarship $8,000. Since the inception of the program in 2010, CRIF has provided 30 scholarships, totaling $287,250 United States dollars to students from seven Caribbean countries. Scholarship Program, established as the CRIF Extra Regional Scholarship Program in 2010, provides up to four scholarships per year for study in master's programs in areas related to disaster risk management at universities in the United States, United Kingdom, and Canada, as well as universities other than UWI in Caribbean countries. Scholarships are valued up to a maximum of $40,000 for extra-regional universities or $20,000 for Caribbean institutions. Recipients of CRIF scholarships undertake to conduct research for their thesis in areas that are of interest to CRIF and its efforts to build capacity in disaster risk management in the Caribbean. Scholarship recipients have gone on to work in national institutions in areas related to the environment, finance, planning, development, and climate change. Overall, CRIF has provided 39 scholarships to Caribbean nationals with a total value of over 600,000 U.S. dollars. CRIF's flagship professional development program is its regional internship program which was launched in 2015. It is designed to provide opportunities for students who have specialized in the areas of disaster risk management, environmental management, actuarial science, geography, climate studies, and other similar areas to be assigned to regional organizations where their education experience can be enhanced through practical work assignments. In this initiative, 
CRIF partners with a range of organizations who agree to act as host organizations. These include national disaster management and meteorology agencies, as well as regional organizations. Last year, the, the relationship deepened again somewhat with the introduction of the CREF internship program. And again, we were happy to, to collaborate with CREF on this initiative. In the first year of implementation of the internship program in 2015, CRIF placed 20 interns at different regional entities and invested over 70,000 U.S. dollars. We have hosted two interns here at CDB last summer. Uh, the internships in our view were so effective that we have decided to uh, continue with the program, for, continue with those particular interns for another two years. We're also committed to be a host organization uh, again this year and in future years. Mahendra Soyak and personnel from the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center prepared a readiness proposal for the government of Guyana to access the Green Climate Fund, which was approved for funding of 300,000 U.S. dollars. The grant agreement was signed in December 2015 on the sidelines of the COP21 in Paris. The funds will be used to support the preparation of the critical infrastructure needed to realize Guyana's intended nationally determined contributions to greenhouse gas emissions reductions. My association with CRIP has been through both their undergraduate scholarship program in conjunction with UWE as well as their regional internship program. The, um, my association has begun, had begun from my first year at UE in 2013 and during that time I had been feverishly looking for scholarships because I had been on a loan from my high school and one of my, only one of my parents was working so I had been really trying to see how else I could finance to continue my education. CRIF recognizes the critical role of establishing partnerships and works with organizations at the regional and international levels on collaborative projects that focus on capacity development and building and sharing knowledge and technology in areas related to disaster risk management. Through these partnerships, CRIF and regional organizations have established and are maintaining a new accelerometric network in the Eastern Caribbean and Jamaica to enhance the capability for identifying and mitigating seismic risk in the Caribbean with the UWI Seismic Research Center. I've enhanced the Biennial Caribbean Conference on Comprehensive Disaster Management hosted by SEDEMA, bringing together disaster management professionals from throughout the region. Partnership has moved away from simply looking at the supporting the knowledge exchange uh, and now looking at uh, providing measures for incentives. So CRIF is now working with SEDEMA in looking at the whole issue of, of what kind of good practices can we have our countries invest in that would see an incentive offered within the context of, of their overall uh, premiums uh, that they're paying for their sovereign insurance. We're looking at the audit, the audit instrument, which provides a comprehensive assessment within the 18 member states on elements related to comprehensive disaster management and to see how they are performing over specific periods, namely every two to three years, we look to see if they're improving or whether or not we are losing ground on our efforts to try and advance risk reduction or risk resilience within the Caribbean. And CRIF is a, a key player with Sedema in that particular arena. Are improving ECLAC's damage and loss assessment methodology used in the Caribbean? are developing strategies and action plans for increasing resilience in vulnerable communities with the Organization for Eastern Caribbean States. For the three communities that will prioritize for this assignment, will Ancillary, Malgritu Kole in Miku, and Denry Village. Okay, we have uh, invited the communities that will um, assess to be there so that they too can validate and speak to their vulnerabilities and we have invited national agencies, for example, Ministry of Infrastructure, Social Transformation, that work with these communities and that would normally help them to address some of these, the problems and the issues that have been identified. These are just a few examples. It, it's good to see that an institution that was born out of the need 
to provide some coverage in the area of disaster risk reduction, specifically as it relates to risk transfer, is also embracing the opportunity to, to give back to the wider Caribbean community in looking at other areas. They've always uh, postulated in, their, in their, their policy documents to member state that we need to look beyond simply insurance. And I think they are now uh, playing an active role in the region in enabling that, that particular view that was exposed in their, in their earlier documents provided in the, in the development of the, the, the risk insurance facility. Research is another important part of CRIF's support to the region. As we are aware, climate change is the most critical global issue of our time. It affects our livelihoods, health and welfare, indeed our collective future. In 2010, CRIF collaborated with CCCCC, the ECLAC and other partners to conduct an Economics of Climate Adaptation ECA study in eight Caribbean countries, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Bermuda, the Cayman Islands, Dominica, Jamaica, and St. Lucia. Analytical support to the study was provided by McKinsey and Company and Swiss Re. The study focused on quantifying the potential impact of climate change on three natural hazards, hurricane-induced wind damage, coastal flooding, storm surge, and inland flooding on different economic sectors, ranging from its infrastructure, including housing, to tourism and travel, industry, and service sectors. The study showed that annual expected losses from wind, storm surge, and inland flooding already amounts to up to 6% of GDP in some countries, and that climate change has the potential to greatly exacerbate these risks and could increase expected loss by a further 1-3% to of GDP by 2030. This study provides concrete data that can be used by countries in making a case to access international climate funding. Currently, we are looking at finalizing the study and expanding it throughout the region. Component 3 aims to support small disaster risk management projects and programs being implemented primarily at the local community level. There are two main areas of focus the CRIF Small Grants Program, and providing special assistance to post-event recovery and rehabilitation efforts in member countries. The CRIF Small Grants Program was launched in March 2015. It provides financing for small projects by non-governmental organizations, community-based organizations, charity organizations, and academic institutions in local communities across CRIF member countries and or CARICOM member countries. All projects submitted for consideration must be of relevance to the CRIF mandate and objectives and would therefore be inclusive of, but not limited to, projects relating to disaster risk management, engineering, climate change adaptation, training and other capacity building initiatives to be implemented through seminars, workshops, community consultations, and expert group meetings, among others, and environmental management initiatives that will directly impact on reducing community, community vulnerability. The CRIF Board has provided targeted technical assistance and support to governments following the occurrence of certain natural hazard events which significantly affected member countries. After the 2010 earthquake in Haiti, CRIF and CIMH provided technical assistance to support reconstruction efforts, recognizing the particular vulnerability of Haiti to heavy rainfall, which typically causes flooding and landslides in this highly deforested country. CIMH developed rainfall and flood prediction products and, in collaboration with CRIF, assisted the international and regional communities with the use of these products. These tools and data help planners and relief workers to make better decisions about where to resettle citizens and rebuild infrastructure to minimize people's exposure to flooding and landslides. After Tropical Cyclone Richard in 2010, CRIF provided assistance to the government of Belize to enable the National Meteorological Service to build the capacity of the agency to deliver better service to the Belizean public by providing scholarships to two of the services meteorologists to complete a Bachelor of Science degree in meteorology at the University of the West Indies Cavehill Campus, Barbados. Fellowship here, um, 
great, greatly assist the, 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 the department in that we have two, two young candidates who will, will move up the ladder and fill important positions in the department. And um, I'm very, very grateful for CRIF for this opportunity to, to, to um, for this technical assistance for, for in terms of these two fellowships for these two des <coughs> deserving young, young ladies. The representative, um, Mr. Melo from CRIF and um, Mr. Gonges and everyone here for this very wonderful opportunity. And I'm sure me and um, Ms. Michelle Smith will be um, very successful candidates and um, make much use of this very um, important and good opportunity given to us. In 2012, three CRIF member countries, Jamaica, Haiti, and the Bahamas, were affected by Hurricane Sandy. Small-scale, community-level projects were identified by key stakeholders in each country to receive assistance from CRIF. In Haiti, CRIF provided a donation of 115,305 United States dollars to Fondation Amour de Dieu, FADA, a humanitarian NGO, for a project focusing on soil conservation of flooded arable lands around the Béné River and building capacity and leadership within the community. A donation of 100,000 U.S. dollars made by CRIF to the government of Jamaica was used to make repairs at Mirton Boy's home, which was damaged by the hurricane. A new kitchen and rams for the disabled were constructed. Notably, the kitchen is the only concrete slab roof structure on the facility and will be resilient to hurricanes and storms. CRIF and the government of the Bahamas agreed to use a CRIF donation of 85,000 U.S. dollars towards efforts to strengthen coastal defenses damaged by Sandy, and a new seawall was constructed at Sandyport Beach near the capital, Nassau.